On some level and in some way, we absolutely know this power, this God doesn't play favorites. No one can manipulate this power and curry favor and manipulate it. This power is indwelling its spirit. It's intrinsically a part of everyone that lives. Whether we are conscious of it, whether we are aware of it or not, let me say it in another way. It is infinite energy and it cannot be divided. This indwelling spirit is in all people everywhere, even in the person that you might think is the scoundrel. They are still whoever they are, a spiritual being. Maybe their behavior isn't up to par. Maybe their consciousness is not evolved to the place we might like it, but everyone you meet along the road has this spirit in them. So we understand here we are one with all people and all religions at all times. We are one with the people who have no religion. We are born in it, we are established in it, and we live in it. And this is a great thing to understand. So you have this power within you because you have a sense of who you are and what you are. You are one with this creative intelligence and you can actually, you have dominion over your own life. You're created in freedom. You can think what you want to think and you're ultimately left to decide. Nobody alive can calculate your value the same way you can't calculate the value of another. In our language, we would say that each of us are individualizations of this eternal life, that all is well and perfect, and we are out picturing and reflecting our consciousness all the time. So whoever it is, whatever you have within you, whatever your belief is, your conscious belief today and all your subconscious, that's playing out in your life. And you're entitled to have your feelings, of course, but the thing is, if you can begin to harness the moment, when you find yourself adrift and remind yourself that you are supplied and supported and how wonderful you are and that you have executive power. If you can step out of the spin that you might find yourself in and redirect it, that's the practice. You just keep working with it. You keep reminding yourself, I am supplied and supported and invite spirit into your awareness and you can redirect it because life will respond to you as you begin to work with it and as you work with the power that you have.